Let's go through question 21. It's a paper one question. In a research laboratory, biologists study the growth of a culture of bacteria. From the data collected hourly, they concluded that the culture increases in number according to this formula, where n is the number of bacteria present and t is the number of hours since the experiment began. Use the model to calculate a, the number of bacteria present at the start of the experiment. Well, that's when t is zero, number of hours is zero, so the function is represented with that notation. 35 times 1.85 to the zero power, which equals 35 bacteria. B, the number of bacteria present after four hours, giving your answer correct to the nearest whole number of bacteria. So we do the same, the four hours. Now remember, note that that is already in hours. There, we've got uh, the T is number of hours. That's 35 by 1.85 to the power of four, and that's 409.9727. So to the nearest whole number of bacteria at four hours, the number of bacteria is 410. C, the time it would take for the number of bacteria to exceed 1,000. So where that's the n is greater than 1,000. So 35, that's the, so the function is greater than 1,000. Now in GDC solve, just do use the equal sign, find the value, and that was 5.4494. Well, it's where t is greater than 5.4494. Therefore, t equals 5.45 hours to exceed 1,000. Uh, bacteria, and remember that's three significant figures. Uh, next one, due to the lack of nutrients, the culture cannot exceed 1,000 bacteria. State the domain of validity of the model. And so that would be like this, and we know it's greater than or equal to zero, but it's less than 5.45, as we established up here, because at 5.45 hours it exceeds 1,000, and it says that it cannot exceed 1,000, so we end up with that. Question 22, it's a paper one question. Mr. Williams, well, there's a great name, is about to retire and he needs to decide how his pension should be paid. His pension provider offers him three payment options, option one, option two, and option three. Determine which option has the greatest total value. Justify your answer by showing all appropriate calculations. Option one, 10,000 US dollars each year for 10 years. So that's, that's 10,000 times 10, that's 100,000. So the total value is 100,000. Option two, that's 2,500 in the first year and then the amount increases by US 2,000 in each subsequent year for a, a total of 10 years. This is clearly an arithmetic sequence, so we're gonna use a summation uh, general formula for an arithmetic sequence. So that's 10 years and it's N on two, so that's 10 on two times two times the U1, which is our 2,500 plus 10 minus one, N minus one, times d, and d here is 2,000 because it's increasing by 2,000 each year. So that resolves itself to 115,000, so the total value is 115,000. And finally, option three, that's $100 in the first year, and then the amount doubles in each subsequent year for a total of 10 years. So this is geometric, so that first one is 100, and then it doubles, so r is equal to 2, and then we use the summation formula for a geometric sequence here where r is greater than 1. And that resolves to 102,300. And so the question was, determine which option has the greatest total value. And so that would be option 2 has the greatest total value because it's $115,000. Question 23, it's a paper 2 question. A large city is concerned about pollution and decides to look at the number of people using taxis. At the end of the year 2010, there were... 50,000 taxis in the city. At the end of the nth year after 2010, the number of taxis is 1.1 to the n minus 1. A, 1. Find the number of taxis in the city at the end of 2015. So the first year after 2010 is 2011, when n equals 1 in the expression 1.1 to the n minus 1. Therefore, at the end of 2011, it's 50,000, which is the uh, initial value times 1.1 to the 1 minus 1, which is 50,000. Now that we know U1, uh, 2015 is term 5, there, because we know that term 1, we said N was 1, was 2011. So 2015 is term 5. So U5 equals U1. We now know U1 is 1.1 to the 5 minus 1. So U5 is 50,000 times 1.1 to the power of 5 minus 1, which is 73,205 taxis. Part two, assuming that this model remains valid, find the year in which the number of taxis is double the number of taxis at the end of 2010. 
Okay, so we, when it's doubled, it's going to be 100,000 taxis. So 100,000 equals 50,000 times 1.1 to the power of n minus 1. Can we resolve that to that? It's a bit easier to put into the calculator. When we use GDC solve, we get n equals 8.27254. Therefore, when n equals 9, the year would be 2019. At the end of 2010, there were 2 million people in the city who used taxis. N years later, the number of million people, P sub N, who used taxis is given by this expression here, this equation. B, assuming that this model remains valid, find the value of P at the end of 2020, giving your answer to the nearest thousand. Let's set up a table. They told us in 2010, that's the end of 2010. So it is a bit confusing because they've got at the end of, but 2010 is effectively 2011, right? There, but 2010, we'll call that n equals 1. And 2011 will be n equals 2, and we'll go up that way. So we'll find that 2020, okay, 2020 will be actually the number at the end of 2019. So that's when n equals 10. So that's the key number we need to remember there. Remember, that they said at the end of 2019, so that'll be 2020. So we're looking at n equals 10. So we put 10 into this formula here. And we find that the total, uh, these are millions of people, so that's 2.187371 million to the nearest thousand. That's 2,187,000 people. Let R be the ratio of the number of people using taxis to the number of taxis. At the end of 2010, R was 43.6 to 1. C, find the ratio R at the end of I 2015 and uh, II I 2020. Okay, so from A... We know that the number of taxis is 73,205. To find out what the population is, though, we're going to use 5 because we said that, 2000, that the population in 2015 is going to be at the end of 2014, so that would be 5. So we put a 5 there, that's 5 minus 1, and we get 2.081208 million, and the ratio is 28.4. Okay, for 2020... The number of taxis, we can use this formula here. Now, we know that 2020 is when n equals 10 because that's at the end of 2019. So that would be the beginning of 2020. So that's 50,000 times 1.1 to the power of 10 minus 1, which is that number. That's the number of taxis. The population we found out here in B, so we know that was 2,187,000 and the ratio is 18.55. In three significant figures, that's 18.6. And D, comment on the values found in part C. The number of people using taxis to the number of taxis is decreasing. The number of taxis is increasing faster than the number of passengers.